two vectors in the plane containing the points P, Q and R are P, Q and P, R. Vector P, Q is equal to the position vector of point Q minus the position vector of point P, which is equal to 2i minus k minus, in brackets, i minus j plus 2k. This is equal to i plus j minus 3k. Vector PR is equal to the position vector of point R minus the position vector of point P. And this is equal to 2j plus k minus, in brackets, i minus j plus 2k. This is equal to minus i plus 3j minus k. Therefore, a vector which is perpendicular to the plane containing vectors PQ and PR is vector PQ cross vector PR. This is equal to i plus j minus 3k cross minus i plus 3j minus k. This can be expressed as a determinant with the first row being i, j, k, the second row being the components of vector PQ, which are 1, 1, and minus 3. And the third row is the components of vector PR, which is minus 1, 3, minus 1. This is equal to the unit vector i times, in brackets, minus 1 plus 9, minus the unit vector j, times, in brackets, minus 1 minus 3, plus the unit vector k, times, in brackets, 3 plus 1. This simplifies to 8i plus 4j plus 4k. Therefore, a unit vector perpendicular to the given plane is 8i plus 4j plus 4k divided by its absolute value, which is equal to square root of 8 square plus 4 square plus 4 square. This is equal to 4 times in brackets 2i plus j plus k in the numerator divided by 4 root 6 in the denominator. 4 cancels across the numerator and denominator and therefore the desired unit vector is equal to 2i plus j plus k divided by root 6, which is the required answer.